uh, boys and girls, we're going to be talking about 3D objects. Now, last time we talked about 2D shapes, and I'm just gonna quickly talk about what's the difference between a 3D object and a 2D shape. Now, a 2D shape is a flat shape. So, for instance, this is flat. I can't pick it up. It's a square, or the best as possible to a square, um, and that's why we call it just a shape, because it's not something that we can pick up. But all of our objects are things that we can hold and we can move around. I can't actually pick this one up. So 3D objects, also something that you're going to find out, a whole heap of 2D shapes make our 3D objects. Okay, so we have a whole heap of 3D objects here. First of all, what we're gonna do is we're just going to name these objects. And I'm gonna start with this one here first because I know that most of you would know this one. I'm gonna put that down. It's a pretty easy one. It looks like, what do you think it looks like? Well, to search. me, it looks like a ball. It does look But like I know it. that there's a special name, Miss Khan. Can you tell us the special name? The special name is called our sphere. The spelling on sphere is really tricky. It is a little bit. If you would like to get a pen and paper and write these um, objects' names down to practice writing them, that's a really good idea for you to ha um, have a look at at home. The next one is my favorite Miss Khan, and I'll pick it up and show you the camera so at home you can see it has a flat surface here and a curved surface to a point, and if I hold it up, the, oh, I just dropped it. Sorry, boys and girls. If I hold it up this way, we can see that it looks like something you might put ice cream onto. It's a cone. This shape, boys and girls, is a cone. As Miss Khan is writing the word cone, you could write along as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next one. Um, now, this one here has got a flat surface on the top and a flat surface on the bottom. And it sort of looks a bit like a barrel. It's a round, it's sort of got a round face there as well. And this one here has also got a bit of tricky spelling and I might move it down a little bit. It's called a cylinder. Cylinder. This shape here is one of my favorite shapes. It has many flat surfaces, flat faces, and we're going to count them together soon, but I just wanted to show you all around. It looks a bit like a dice off a board game and it's called a cube. So write down cube as Miss Khan is writing down cube. Cube, and do you wanna do that last one? The very last one, it's really similar to a cube. It has all flat faces, but it's longer and it's there's a shape here that we all know and that's a rectangle. And this means that's a rectangular prism. And we're also going to talk a little bit about prisms very soon, but you can write down rectangular prism on your paper to practice your spelling of our 3D objects. Okay, the first 3D object we're going to look at today is called a cube. So I'll just bring it closer to the camera so we can all have a look at it. Now when we talk about 3D objects, we need to learn about some new mathematical language. And a 3D object is made up of faces. Now if you have a look at this cube, a face is a flat surface on the top, or the bottom and on the side. And what shape is that face? It is a square. So a cube is made up of square faces. And Miss Flanagan... How many square faces are on there? I'm going to count them right okay. now. So I'm going to pick my shape up, but I don't want to move it because I'll lose count. So I'm going to count the top first, then the bottom, and then around. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six faces. There are six square faces that make a cube. So I'll write that down. So it's really important, boys and girls, that when you're counting this, that like Miss Flanagan did, she kept it still. Um, she didn't move it around because if you moved it around, you would be doing something like this. One face, two face, three face, four face, five face, six face, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you lose count out and remember where I started. That's why if you keep it on your hand or somewhere flat, um, then you can count the top, count the bottom, and then 
go around. Excellent. Work. Great work, Miss Khan. Now, the next uh, word we need to learn about 3D objects is edges. And edges are the lines that connect the faces. Where They're they these, join. Where they join. Where they join. So, again, there's a lot of edges in this shape, and I don't want to lose count. So first I'm going to count the edges on the top, then the bottom, and then the side. Um, could you hold it for me, Miss Carmel? I will. I'll hold it That'd up. be great. So one, two, three, four. I'm just going to flip it around. Five, six, seven, eight. And I can't forget these ones. Nine. 10, 11, 12. So a cube also has 12 edges. Do you know what? I think some people might be really clever, Miss Flanagan, and know that if it's the same shape on the top and the same shape on the bottom, that all they need to do is count the top. And then they can just go, okay, there's four edges here. There'll be four, four edges, edges on underneath. the bottom. Great strategy, Ms. Khan. Thinking. So the last word we need to learn is vertices. And that is when our edges, when two or more edges meet to make a point. So I've got one, two, three edges here making a point. And that is called a vertice. So we used to call that a corner. A corner. We call it corners on 2D shapes. Yeah. So they're corners in 2D shapes, but when we're doing 3D objects, the corners are called vertices. And that's when our edges meet to make a point. So now I'm going to count our vertices. Do you want me to hold that again? Thank you, Miss Khan. So I've got one, two, three, four, and I'm going to count the bottom. Five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight vertices in a cube. Eight vertices, another word that we could use, it's not really a mathematical word, yeah. but we could say the points too. The points. We? The yeah. points, the edges, no not the edges, the points or the vertices. We'd really like you to start using that word though, the vertices. Next we'll look at some more 3D objects. The second 3D object that we are looking at today is this shape here. Its name is a cylinder and we, we now know the terms, the maths terms that we can use to describe this cylinder. We can have a look at the flat surface here. This is the face, which is in a round shape, a circle shape. So one flat face here, we flip it. Another flat face here, that's two flat faces. And this one here is a curved face. It's still a flat surface, but it, it goes around and around. I can make my finger go all the way around it. And it's also a face. So we have to count this one as a, round, a curved face. So we've got one, two, three faces. I'm going to write that down on my board. You can write it down on yours too if you'd like. Three faces. And if we have a look along here, we now know that an edge is where two faces meet. So we have an edge that goes all the way around here. That's one edge. If we flip it, here's another edge here. So boys and girls, you can count one, two edges on a cylinder. And we don't have any vertices because we don't have anywhere where three edges meet. So there are zero vertices. We can write that down too, just so we know. So our cylinder has three faces, two edges, and zero vertices. Okay, the shape that I'm going to be using today is this one here. Now this one's a little bit unusual. I don't see these ones very often. There is one shape that I do know that does look like this, but on the side I can see that it has a three sides, so it has got a triangular face on that side. If I flip it over, it's also got a triangular face on that side. Um, and if you have a look at these faces, these faces are not triangles, they're actually rectangles. So it's got 
rectangular sides. So if I'm going to count the number of faces, remember the faces are I'm going to be the flat pieces. So it's got one on that side, two, and then three, four underneath, and five on that side. So it has got five faces. They might be different shapes, like this one is a rectangular face and this one is a triangular face, but they're still altogether five faces. Now we need to count the number of edges. So our edges, now remember our edges are where the faces meet. So there is one edge on the top, two edge, three, four, where that rectangular is, five, six, seven, and then underneath, eight, nine. So on here, there are nine edges. That's a little bit tricky. I'm going to try that one again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that there is nine on that one. Now, the last one is the vertices. Now, the vertices, remember we were going to, um, the vertices were where they connect together or the point we were going to use the word vertices. So the number of vertices here would be one, two, three, and then four, five, six. So on this shape, we would say it has six vertices. Boys and girls, we're going to have a look at two shapes now. This one is a basic shape that we all no, and it's a sphere. We were talking about that at the start of the video and that the sphere only has one face. It's a curved face, but it's still just one face. That's our sphere. That's a really easy one. If I took the sphere and I chopped it in half, I would get this shape here and it has a flat face here and a curved face here. It's a 3D object. It's called a semi-sphere, which means a half of a sphere. So when we're looking at a semi-sphere, we have one flat face and one curved face, which means there are two faces on a semi-sphere. Miss Khan is writing the word semi-sphere. You can write it too if you like. And Miss Khan, could you also write for me that there is two faces on a semi-sphere, please? While Ms. Khan's writing that there are two faces, we're going to have a look at the edges on a semi-sphere. Now, on a normal sphere, a whole sphere, there are no edges. There's no, not one point when they all meet. But on a semi-sphere, we have one edge that goes all the way around here. It's, a, it's an edge that goes all the way around where this face meets this face. So we have one edge. One edge. And there are no vertices on a semi-sphere or a sphere because, of course, none of them come to a point. There's just that one edge. There are interesting rounded shapes. How many faces did we say were on that? Oh, we on said that the there was, there was one that? round face, Miss Khan. So if we could record that, that, that's okay. One round face There's on a sphere. Zero vertices on that one. That's right. Okay, so what we're going to be doing now that we've learned a little bit more about our 3D objects is we're going to play a game. And the game is going to be Find My Shape. Now, this is a game, boys and girls, that you could easily play at home because I'm going to show you the shape. Um, and what you need to do is go and find something around your house that is the same object as this. Now, Miss Flanagan and Miss... Um, Luxford, Mrs. Luxford is here as well, and they are going to play the game. I cannot wait, Miss Khan. I love games. Oh, I so do too. Competitive. Oh, I know. I, hope I win. No. <laughs> I think I'll win, Miss Flanagan. All I right. think I'll win. Okay, so we all need to go and find a shape that looks like a cube. <gasps> Pause the video. Like you go and cube. find one too. Okay, I found mine, Miss Flanagan. I've got it behind my back. Oh, well, everybody needs to see it. Oh. So I'm going to show you mine first then. Okay. So mine is a little bit smaller than this cube, but it can be. But it's still, I know it's a cube because it has one, two, three, four, five, six faces and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, corners. 
do we call them corners? We call them vertices. Vertices, Vertice, sorry. And it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve edges. It's little, Amazing. but it is exactly the same shape. I think Miss Khan deserves a point. She's Thank got a great you. view. One point for me. I'm gonna write mine down. Miss Flanagan, would you go like to go next? I have a very big block that is also wow. a cube. Now, my cube is missing two faces, but we're going to pretend that it's an invisible face for today because mm. it's still a cube shape. It's just missing um, two faces. Are your faces all squares, Miss Flanagan? They are. So that's how I know that it is a cube. Well, Excellent. I think you definitely deserve a point. I'm going to give her a point as well. Now, I have a box. I, this was the only thing I could find that was sort of cube-ish. And this face here is a uh, square, and it's the same as this face here. These ones are almost a square, but they're a little bit rectangular as well. So that it's not quite a cube, but this was the best I could find. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. It's pretty Do I get close. a point? It's a cotton Maybe that's a half point. Okay, oh, half a point. Half. I'm a you half, half, half a point from Mrs. Luxford. All right, half I'll accept that. Point. It's all not right. quite, but I tried my best. Okay, do you want to choose an object now that we need to all... Can we take these yep. objects back? You choose one now, Mrs. Um, Luxford, and we'll move the cube out. Okay, um, I have my... One of my favourite shapes is a cylinder. You need to find something with a circle-shaped face, a circle-shaped face, and a round edge. So you need to find something in your home that is a cylinder shape. Press pause and see if you can find one. All right, we're back with our shapes. Are you back with yours? I hope you are. Miss um, Flanagan, would you like to go first? Boys and girls, I found a glue stick and I know that my glue stick is a cylinder because I have one, two flat faces and one curved face. And my shape has also two edges, which is the exact same as our cylinder shape here. Okay, I went through, rummaged through my bag, and I actually found some lip balm. Now, a lip balm is also a cylinder because it has got a flat face on the top, flat face on the bottom, and a round face. Great, I think you both deserve points, that's amazing. Um, today for lunch, I bought a cylinder. I bought some chicken and sweet corn soup, and it's in a it's in a can or a tin. Some people call it a tin. It has a flat face here, a flat face here that are both circles, and a round face. It has two edges, and it's a cylinder shape. So that's our um, our last cylinder. Well Do done. I get a point for you that one? Definitely. Oh, thank goodness. One, I think. That's a good. That's that good. That is a good. All point. right. Pick a shape now. Oh, she was okay. last with Miss Khan. Absolutely. I would like us to find, this is a bit of a tricky object, a sphere. I would like you to find objects around your house that look like a sphere. All right, press pause and see if we can all find a sphere. Mm. Well, this one's a tricky one. This one's a tricky one. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're back with our spheres. I'm going to go first this time. I found um, a really interesting polystyrene ball that we were using for arts and crafts got a bit of a hole in it but it's a sphere shape it's one rounded face no edges and no vertices okay mine is um, it is actually a sphere if I broke it but I'm not going to break it because I might want to eat it later so mine is actually the lollipop so the lollipop is a sphere on the top um, if we don't worry about the, the stick to it so awesome Miss yeah Khan. I like it sure is Miss Flanning and kind of cheated. I couldn't find a sphere, <laughs> so I made my very own with a balloon. Oh, look at you. So my balloon also has one face and it's a curved face, but yeah. no edges and no vertices. Miss Flanning, I think you should get a bonus point for your creativity. <gasps> wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Thank you get you. one and a half or two Let's points. go two points. Let's go two, two points. points. She's win. I'm in the lead. Wow, How congratulations, exciting. Miss Flanagan. <laughs> Our last challenge for our game is this shape here. And it has a rectangle shaped face, another rectangle shaped face, a big, a big rectangle, a smaller rectangle here, a smaller one here, and an even smaller one on each end. This is a rectangular prism. And I challenge you all to find a rectangular prism in your home. So press pause and see if you can find a rectangular prism. Okay. 
I think I have one. I do too. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one. So once again, I went in my bag and I found a box of Tic Tacs. Yum. Um, and that is a rectangular prism. It's almost the same size as that one Ooh, as well. That's really close. Um, I'll go next with Flanagan, and I found a rectangular prism that has two really flat surfaces and smaller flat surfaces on either side, and it's my mobile phone. So my mobile phone is actually the shape of a rectangular prism. It sure is. And I found something a little bit smelly, <laughs> a packet of sardines. Ew. Ew. So gross, but it is also a rectangular prism. I've got a face on the top. A face on the bottom and rectangular faces around the side. I actually would like to count the edges of my sardine okay. packet just to double check it's definitely a Absolutely. rectangular. Can I check mine it? as well as you're checking no yours? We'll all check we'll all them check together. Them. Okay. So again, I'm not going to move my shape around so right. I don't um, lose count. So I'm going to keep it here. I'm yep. going to count the top first. One, One. Oh, two, three, three, four. four. Yep. On the bottom, One. Uh, oh, five. five. Six, seven, eight. Yeah. And then these um, ones on the side. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve edges, which is correct. Awesome. Um, okay, so I have one last shape, girls, before uh, ladies, before we um, finish off. And this one here was the semi sphere. So you need to find a shape that has got one flat round face and then um, one curved face so this is a challenge mm. it's really the, tricky i can't the boys think and girls could find one at home oh they'd have to look really really hard it could be like a spinning top i think i actually had a toy like this that um that i used to bring in but anyway go girl um go and find a thing and see if you can find one pause the video and see if you can find one too and i might so, just take a tic -tac. Okay, we're, we're back and we've found our I don't, shape. I don't think yeah, you've no, got one. Miss Khan, we have, we have. This, this is one. our shape here, Miss Khan. No, no, we've worked no, no, together. no, hang on. I said a round edge. Do you have a round edge? Yes, we have yes, a round edge. a round edge. face, sorry. And then a flat. So you don't have it. So I'm going to give myself <gasps> No, Miss Khan, no, 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 wait. We, we, we oh, do. Oh, we we did. both have a semi we chopped our sphere in half. Oh man, that means you get an extra point and you get an extra point and oh, I don't. Look at oh, the sorry, winner. I got that wrong. One, two, three, four, and five. So we do have a winner. Ms. And that's Quattigan. you, Miss Quattigan. Quattigan. Quattigan.